Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to configure your Wasabi cloud storage with Comet so that you can easily assign a storage location for each of your customers and have the backup data go directly from the client side to Wasabi. So in your Comet server web interface, open up the setup wizard and then go to the authentication role request storage vault section, as you see here. This is where we can configure a requestable storage vault so that you don't have to manually create separate buckets and access keys for each client as Comet will automatically do this for you. Now, if we go to add a provider, you will see a list of providers to choose from. The Comet type will use your service storage role location as the requestable storage vault, but keep in mind that the backup data will bypass your server first before reaching the destination. The Backblaze and Wasabi type is how you can configure these providers as a requestable storage vault with the backup data going directly from the client to the cloud. Now, let's select the Wasabi type. Enter the Wasabi bucket name and root access keys, as Comet will need sufficient permissions to create the lower level access keys for each storage vault to prevent different customers from accessing each other's data. In the description field, give this storage vault a name. You can use your company name for example, and you will see this name when assigning this storage vault to an account or in the account settings on the client software. Now let's save these settings and the server will restart. Your Wasabi storage will be ready to use. And so to request this storage vault, you can do this when creating a new user. And for existing users, you can request this storage vault on their profile page. And so that is how you can set up Wasabi Cloud Storage as a requestable storage vault using the direct to cloud method. You can find more information about configuring storage with Comet over on our documentation in which I'll link in the description. Thanks for watching.